Hi Seesaw teachers, it's Angela and I thought I'd just share this quick idea called graduation letters. And this is something that I did with my kindergarten students, but is a great way for any grade level actually to encourage your students to dream big and do some reflection. So last year, I actually had shared this tweet about pulling out graduation letters that my students had written to themselves when they were in my kindergarten class. And I keep them and then several years later, um, when the year comes, I actually mail them the physical letter. So lots of people reached out to me and wanted to know the process that I followed to do this with my students. So what I did is I actually did a read aloud, then we do a discussion, and then my students start writing. So the book that I choose to read is called There Was a Bold Lady Who Wanted a Star. And it is actually a very special book to me that was given to me from a colleague, but any book would work really well here that has to do with goal setting or not giving up on you know hopes and dreams. So after we read the book, we have a class discussion and we talk about what will it be like you know, in several years when you graduate and we talk about what graduation is and we discuss you know, what might they like to do? Are they gonna go to college? Where will they live? And after we have some discussion, then the students go back and they start writing. So here's an example. The student you know, would write, Dear Angela, and I asked that they only use a pencil for their writing because we didn't want uh, you know, markers to get wet if I'm holding these letters for several years. And they can also do illustrations on the back as well. But they do their best to talk about some of their hopes and dreams and what they're going to do when they graduate and when they grow up. And after, when Seesaw has come along, I actually have the students take a photo of their letter, tap the mic and read their letter. And then those are added to their portfolio and families can actually see them. Of course, I'm still keeping the physical copy to mail to them in several, several years. So I hope this is something that you would enjoy trying with your students. And again, I think it works great no matter what grade level you teach. And it's always kind of a sweet way to see all the big hopes and dreams your students have. Enjoy.